though I'm sure many of you know a lot about the village and about Grace Haley, uh, perhaps you will learn some new things with me today. So let's cross over. You are looking at Macy's Department Store, moved to 34th Street in 1902. There's always more to learn in this neighborhood, this way. 1922 is when Grace Goodside was born in the Bronx to a, quote, normal Jewish socialist family. Her first collection of short stories, The Little Disturbances of Man, established her reputation worldwide. Coming at the end of the timid 1950s, she tackled lives of, quote, ordinary urban women with bold language. She was confirmed as a master of the genre, uh, celebrated the multicultural community interconnecting Jewish, Irish, Italian, Black, and Puerto Rican lives. Is where Grace Paley lived for most of her adult life. Here she raised her two children by her first husband, and this is a rent controlled walk up with linoleum hallways. And now I believe we have a quote. Is the, it is the responsibility of society to let the poet be a poet. It is the responsibility of the poet to be a woman. It is the responsibility of the poet to be lazy, to hang out and prophesy. It is the responsibility of the poet not to pay war taxes. It is the responsibility of the poet to go in and out of ivory towers and two-room apartments on Avenue C and buckwheat fields and army camps. There is no freedom without justice, and this means economic justice and love justice. It is the responsibility of the poet to sing this in all the original and traditional tunes of singing and telling poems. There is no freedom without fear and bravery. There is no freedom unless earth and air and water continue and children also continue. It is the responsibility of the poet to be a woman, to keep an eye on this world and cry out like Cassandra, but be listened to this time. Good morning. We wanted to perform, but 